Ugh, teenagers these days. Always texting on their cell phones, gossiping with their friends, never doing any chores. Uh, wait just a minute. Are these teenagers scrubbing toilets? Yeah, it's not very fun. Uh, I've never really cleaned a toilet like that before, so it was kind of interesting. Gross and kind of smelly. Don't take out your toilet and clean it that way because it's not fun. Do you do this at home? Nope, not very often. No? No? Because that's my mom's job. Sure, it might be mom's job. But it turns out these kids weren't only cleaning the toilet. They decided to actually spray paint the toilet, too. I've spray painted some things before, but never a toilet. It was kind of a little odd. Spray painting it was really fun because I'll probably never be able to spray paint a toilet ever again. And the man behind this fluorescent toilet idea is Ben Holmquist, youth group leader for Rock Solid Youth at Alberni's Elam Tabernacle Church. We're preparing to launch a fundraiser called You've Been Tanked. Basically we take these, this fluorescent toilet and uh, we stick it in someone's front yard. And when we put it in someone's front yard, we're going to have a note attached to it that says, you've been tanked by Rock Solid Youth. So for a donation, they can have the toilet removed, and they get to choose whose place it gets to go to next. Uh, ben, how are people going to react when they wake up to a fluorescent toilet in their front yard? Well, I think people's uh, first initial reaction is to be a bit shocked, uh, because I'm sure that... First off, nobody would want to see a toilet in their front yard, let alone a fluorescent one. And, uh, you know, I, I would encourage them uh, to, to just take a moment and to understand, you know, it's, it, it's obviously been done on purpose. It's uh, obviously a little bit of a prank. It's not candid camera, but it's definitely uh, for fun. And uh, when they read the note, they'll kind of understand what it's all about, and they can be a part of it. You know, I, I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, so the, the whole purpose of this is to, to just uh, do it in good humor and uh, allow them to pass on. It's kind of like paying it forward, but with a little bit of a joke and uh, to help, you know, support uh, the youth group going to history makers. Okay, so these fluorescent colored toilets are all in support of a good cause? Our first trip that we've got planned here is for history makers, the youth convention that's happening in Chilliwack. They get together in this huge arena and there's live concerts and uh, guest speakers that uh, are notorious, uh, you know, for, for some of the uh, speaking that they've done worldwide. So we, uh, we get together, we have a great time singing, you know, having a good concert. And uh, then they hear a bit of the Word of God and they hear some good encouragement and, uh, you know, some good, some good words of encouragement to go home with. And, um, you know, hopefully it's a life-changing experience for them. Some kids never get to see this, never get to experience it. And uh, it, can really, uh, it can really change their perspective on life. For more information about the Rock Solid Youth Group or about the History Makers Youth Convention, give Ben a call. In Port Alberni, I'm Jenny Fortin.